Okay, B says using the information in the above table as well as the additional information to prepare a classified balance sheet. Now we've already done all the classifying here, so now it's just a matter of creating a balance sheet. What's the first thing I need to do when I create a balance sheet? Titles, yeah, headings. So I've got balance sheet uh, for fantasy limited as at uh, the 30th of June 2013. What's the first area that I need to look at? Current assets, yep. My current assets. And what have we got up there? I always like putting cash as my first current asset, so I'll do that still. Cash at bank. Cash at bank, 74,000. Tick that one off. And then we'll start at the top of the list, accounts receivable. Accounts receivable, 90,000. Uh, what else we got there? Uh, accounts receivable, cash at bank. Inventory. My inventory is 86,000. And what's my last one? Prepaid rent. And that's 3,000. Now what's that? That's 164, 170, 250, 253. Here's my current assets. Next following my non-current assets is, is, I've actually just told you, non-current assets. So my non-current assets. Now, have we got what have we got for non-current assets? We've got equipment, which is two hundred thirty-five thousand. It's two thirty-five. Tick that off. Less my accumulated depreciation. Right. So less depreciation accumulated. So my accumulated depreciation is 70,000. Because it's a less, I'm just going to bracket it. So remember that. And I don't think we've got any other non-current assets. No, we haven't. So what have we got there? That makes uh, 165,000. Total assets. My total assets is 253 plus 165 makes 8, 18, 4, 18. Then we go for our liabilities. And my liabilities, I'll start with the ones at the top of the list, which is accounts payable. Eighty thousand crude wages uh, how much is my crude wages? Fifty thousand. I tick off my accumulated depreciation. Uh, I've already ticked off my investment on sale. General reserves. Any other current liabilities? No, I don't think we've got any other current liabilities. Uh, oh, hang on. I do have one here, look at that. I forgot to classify this one. Prepaid revenue, right down the very bottom. So I need to put in my prepaid revenue. Which is 20,000. That gives me 150,000.
All right, now my non-current liabilities is my loan payable. So non-current liabilities My non-current liabilities comes in at loan. My loan was, how much was my loan? $85,000. And I don't think I've got any other liabilities. So that gives me total liabilities. Uh, of 235000 And now I'm looking at, because it's a classified balance sheet, my net assets. Now net assets is my assets minus my liabilities. So I'll just give a little assets minus liabilities there. And we've got 418 minus 235 gives me 83. Okay, 183,000. 183,000. Now I need to look at my equity section. Equity. What have we got as far as equity? We've got share capital, we've got retained earnings, we have general reserves, so we've got three there. So let's put those in. Share capital is 100,000. Share capital 100,000. General reserves is 30,000. Retained profits. Retained profits is 15,000. Okay, let me just make sure I've ticked off all of these. I put in my interest expense, I put in my loan, put in my rent, my retained earnings is my last one. It's 15,000. And that doesn't equal 183,000 cars. What I'm missing is my profit of $38,000. So I need to include this year's profit into my balance sheet, plus profit. of 38,000 and that gives me 130, 168, 178, 183. So you can see that my assets minus my liabilities equals my equity. Now let me just zoom out one there and there we go, we've got the full balance sheet.